What's up everyone? So last vlog got a lot of great feedback so I have another one for you and the vlog today is chronologically the day after the last vlog. So last vlog was a Monday and so this vlog is actually the next Tuesday so I woke up early that morning and started vlogging again and I hope you guys enjoy this. It, it will hopefully give you a better insight into the different types of days I have here and I will continue to do more. Thank you all also for giving me 4,000 subscribers. That is awesome. I'm trying to get to 10,000 by the end of this year. Did I tell you that? Let's try to get to 10,000. Uh, so support, subscribe if you haven't already, and on top of all of that, uh, follow me on Instagram and Snapchat because I have been doing some great stuff on there as well. But without further ado, I hope you enjoy this video, which is um, a normal Tuesday. Enjoy. Five sixteen a.m. Tuesday. That's it. Back on the grind. I actually passed out yesterday early at like twelve. So it is officially eight. I'm still going at it. Um, we technically have lecture from eight to 12, but again, I'm studying on my own and uh, feeling pretty good. And the sense that we have the test on Friday, well, we don't have a test on Friday. It's kind of like something you take on your own, on your iPad. So you can take it anywhere between Friday and Sunday. And so I'm reviewing all the lectures that are gonna be on that right now. Um, assuming I finish some of this stuff, there's other stuff. I always get really ambitious. I made this post-it note yesterday and there's all the stuff I wanted to do and I finished. As of right now, I will be done with like five things and there's like at least 15 on here and this was stuff I wanted to complete last night and I passed out. So I'm going to stay up and see how much I can get done hopefully in the next few hours. I think the first commitment I have today is around two and that will be a meeting. So. Um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. I'll keep you guys updated, but for now I'm still just reviewing lectures and uh, it's on my iPad, listening to some music and uh, getting my jam on. 10 a.m. I was getting a bit sleepy, so what I ended up, what I usually do is I stagger a certain number of breaks I take. This is my shower break. I ate breakfast earlier, and that's probably why I get sleepy. I have a really strong parasympathetic nervous system, which means when I eat, I get drowsy within an hour. That's that. I'm gonna drink some coffee and then get back on the grind. I have until two before I have to leave, and then I have a meeting from 2.30 to 3.30, and then from 3.30 to maybe five, I will work, and then I will gym, and then I have a anesthesiology workshop which is like a uh, skills workshop. So we'll see how that, that goes. And uh, after the skills workshop, I think it's pretty a low key day today. So yeah, just kind of catching up and hoping that we can uh, get some productivity in today. So let's go. So I have moved on from taking notes about class stuff to actually also doing some first aid, which is the USMLE stuff. I would show you guys my notes and show you pictures and stuff. Um, but I can't because the camera is difficult to hold. <laughs> but anyway, it's just kind of showing you there's two different ways of studying. First, I was studying class stuff, which is important personally, I think. I like to have a longitudinal view of things. And so the class kind of creates a nice narrative and also it gives me something to work toward because if you're just studying for the USMLE, I personally think um, it's really difficult to know what I know. And on top of that, the tests that we get tested on here are from class. They're not necessarily USMLE based. So I still do USMLE stuff and keep up with it on the side. My main focus is still classwork. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there is a lot of overlap, but there's also a bunch to know. And this, as you'll eventually learn, is the godsend for your first year and second year, because that's the stuff you're studying for boards. And there's a lot you gotta know. I'm learning about TB right now. I'm about to be done. Um, it's 1220-ish, which is good, because I still have about one and a half more hours. I'll eat a bit of lunch. As you've seen, I've been awake since five and just literally been mostly studying. Um, I've done a bit of chores here and there. Today's more low-key day. Tomorrow will be busier, but hey, that's med school. Uh, so 
Let's keep on going on. So just finished the meeting. The meeting was good. Um, this was the cardiologist. I'm interested in the field, so getting a feel for the field and uh, seeing what it would be like to be a cardiologist. She's really cool. I got to ask her a bunch of questions. That's what I really like about school and medical school in general. Uh, because it's such a small class, no one is more than two emails away because you're only 100 students now. When I was at Berkeley, it was 35,000. <laughs> And so then people will actually not respond to emails because they'll be like, you're just another student. Whereas med students actually get a decent amount of priority here in terms of being like, oh, you're trying to be a doctor. We should probably talk. And so right away we clicked, we got to talking, sat down for an hour. And this is what I'm saying. Like these are world renowned doctors. <laughs> I mean, she's amazing. The doctor I just met with. And for, for an hour, we're just sitting there talking and she has much more important things to do. Trust me. Uh, but um, that's the privilege of coming to a place like this where you get people to sit down with you and be like, hey, what's going on? This is what you need to do. And you're just like, oh my God, you, you're so cool. Why are you even helping me? Um, but the medicine is a revolving door. The previous generation helps the current generation and so forth. So I've got to take advantage of that. I always wear my shorts underneath my pants. It saves time and I had my shirt and my backpack changed, and now we're ready to go. All right, just finished. We got, we ran it all with about a six and a half degree incline. Um, we burn a lot more calories that way. Uh, and I didn't realize my foot was hurting when I went up hills. So that was what I was trying to do. I'm gonna move it back down now, cool down. Always cool down after you run, guys. No one stretches before, no one stretches after or cools down after. You gotta do both. We also have spinal and epidural station. There you can practice your lumbar puncture skills and go over some of the anatomical issues about what we do uh, on that. This side would be your intravenous and um, arterialized station. We walk you through everything. Um, it's, it would be helpful if you guys... The, the number of the G stands for gauge, right? It's just kind of the yeah. diameter of the actual line you're putting in. 16, as you'll see, yeah. over here. This is one of the larger, there's 14s actually, but this is probably, when you talk about... So my first two IVs right here. Yeah. Tell us what you're doing, Brian. We're gonna place an IV into this patient. They're coding right now. They're going to die without my heart. So I'm gonna take this out. And I'm assuming this person's already sterilized. I be him right now, okay? Okay, we're going to close up look here. Oh, wait, we're, we can only use one hand. That's the point. Oh, resistance? Why is it not working? Oh, there we go. IV is in, I think. And then you would just push out. Patient is now alive. Thanks to me. <laughs> So cool. <laughs> you feel it? Mm -hmm. find the space? But the rubbery of the skin. Yeah. You said L4? L4 or 5. So the space in between L4 and L4. It's like right there. So the top of the iliac crest. You find the space. I usually use my thumb. I put it on the bone. I then inject some local anesthetic just to numb up the skin. And then this is called an introducer needle. And it introducer introducer needle. So you put that in about halfway. And the purpose of that is the spinal needle is so small and thin that if you try and enter the skin with it, it bends. Oh wow. So you put it you hold the needle. It's so long. You go, this is actually a, we have longer ones that are about that long. So where was your thumb? It was in the... On the, so on the bone? L5? Oh, okay. On the bone. The lower so, bone. Yeah. That's L5, right? Yeah. You want to uh, create a very good seal on the mask. This is like super important. So you want to make a C with your these two fingers and an E with these three fingers. Your pinky is going to go oh, okay. it's not a very good angle of the mandible here. But your pinky, you want to go behind the angle of the jaw. Yep. And then the second two fingers are on the bone itself. 
these fingers are here. And so you're simultaneously pushing down to the face and pulling the face up to the mask. So actually, the more important thing to do is pull the face up. It's really hard to do on these mannequins, but on a person, if you try to do it with one of your friends. So I'm back home. I look like a mess. Um, <laughs> I don't feel like a mess yet, but anyway, it's 8.30. Um, you guys saw a bit of the skills workshop, which was fantastic. Uh, major props to my classmates and the attendings and residents who set that up. Stuff like this happens all the time here. Uh, that's again what I'm saying. It's like it's so great to be here and have this level of attention from physicians and residents. I'm, I'm like six months into med school. I know a little bit more than like a peanut. Okay, I don't know very many things. <laughs> and yet, here are these people who fully embrace the fact that I know nothing and are still willing to be like, you know what? Let's still teach you stuff, <laughs> which is great. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, I, I just feel happy that I can be at a place that does that. And um, so that's that. Uh, just because we were there does not mean the grind stops, does not mean, I mean, I do feel kind of lazy right now, so I might watch an episode of The Resident which is the TV show I've been watching recently. But right after that, I'm going to go straight back. Um, for those of you who don't know, I study using the Pomodoro Technique, which is uh, 25 minutes on, 5 minutes off, 25 minutes on, 5 minutes off, 25 minutes on, 5 minutes off, 25 minutes on, and then a 25-minute break. And then you repeat that over and over again. I did 12 sessions this morning <laughs> because I told you I woke up early. I actually want to get to at least 16 to 20 sessions. So I want to do at least 8 more before I go to sleep. Um, ambitious as i told you i create you here's funny here's a funny thing guys you'll see these to-do lists that's my to-do list for things that i should be doing and it adds more and more every day i just never finish things i'm like horrible but anyway so that's all i have a lot of stuff to do and i will be doing them slowly I actually one of my things on there is to publish a youtube video not this one i have another one and then this one will go up hopefully a bit later and that's it. That was Tuesday for y'all. As you noticed, a lot more studying, um, but a lot of fun and always uh, happiness with my classmates and at my school. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.